Hello everybody, my name is Dork Stubbs and welcome to a brand new tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install Optifine for Feed the Beast. So before you even get it installed, you need to install Op um sorry, no, not Optifine. You need to install Feed the Beast from the website www.feedthebeastlittle-the-beast.com. So you want to install the .exe or the .jar depending on what you want to use. So let me just go and open up uh, Feed the Beast, here we go. And the first thing you want to do is you want to see what Minecraft version your Feed the Beast is running on. So you can see right here, my Feed the Beast is running on Minecraft 1.4.2. So before we even get it installed, one really clever little tip to know if you've got your Optifine fully installed is when you open it up when it's all, you know, if you think it's installed, a little little piece of text right about here will come up saying Optifine. So let's get started with the tutorial. So you want to exit out and go to the Minecraft forums and head yourself over to the Optifine tab. So you want to scroll down here and as you can see all of these Optifines are for 1.4.5. Hmm, wrong version, we want 1.4.2. So I'm just going to do the standard installation. I think I've got this one when I was actually um, the one I'm going to be using. But just install the standard one just to be sure everything's going to work. You want to go to older versions and you can see right here it says 1.4.2. So, after that's fully downloaded, all you want to do is you want to head back onto the Feed the Beast launcher, and before you even push launch or anything like that, you want to go to Options, and you want to see where your Feed the Beast is installed. As you can see, it's installed to my user, desktop, and then Feed the Beast. So, I think I've got it right here, as you can see, and I've already got my Optifine in this folder. So, this is the folder we're going to be wanting, the Feed the Beast beta. And in here, there is two other folders, one called Minecraft, one called Instamods. And if I open up the Instamod folder, as you can see, Minecraft Forge is the only one ready in there. So now I want to go back out to my Optifine, and I want to keep this all zipped. It's not like how you normally install my, uh, mods on normal Minecraft. As I said, this is Feed the Beast. It's a little bit different, and it actually I would say it's a little bit easier as well. So you want to install, or sorry, drag the Optifine.zip into the Instamod folder. And now if I go to Edit Mod Pack, and I go to .jars, you can see the enabled mods are Optifine, so you can disable this by going like that, and you it will do some stuff to the file and disable it, or you can re-enable it if it's ready disabled and it's all installed. So now we want to open up the Feed the Beast, and I will uh, see you when it's all opened up. So now we're in game. As you can see at the bottom left-hand corner, it says Optifine, Optifine underscore 1.4.2. It's now installed, yay! It is finally installed. If you go to Options, Video Settings, you can see all the normal Optifine settings. But uh, unfortunately, I can't really go into a game and go into server because that means I have to do loads of extra editing out. And it would be a little bit complicated. It would really be a bit annoying and yeah. So, my name is Renault Stubbs. I'm going to have a little extra clip where I actually set off with Nuke at the end of this video. And I did it with Optifine to see how much I would lag whilst recording whilst I set off with Nuke. I think I set off four, but... Um, the world seems to load a bit slowly, but that's just what nukes do. But uh, yeah, enjoy that clip, and I will see you in a little bit. Bye.